Today we're gonna to be talking about the three tools you're gonna to need to make the most amazing real estate videos. Stay tuned. This episode of Keeping It Real is brought to you by Real Geeks. How many homes are you going to sell this year? Do you have the right tools? Is your website turning soft leads into interested buyers? Are you spending money on leads that aren't converting? Well, Real Geeks is your solution. Find out why agents across the country choose Real Geeks as their technology partner. Real Geeks was created by an agent for agents. They pride themselves on delivering a sales and marketing solution so that you can easily generate more business. Their agent websites are fast and built for lead conversion conversion with a smooth search experience for your visitors. Real Geeks also includes an easy to use agent CRM. So once a lead signs up on your website, you can track their interest and have great follow-up conversations. Real Geeks is loaded with a ton of marketing tools to nurture your leads and increase brand awareness. Visit realgeeks.com forward slash keeping it real pod and find out why realtors come to Real Geeks to generate more business. Again, visit realgeeks.com forward slash keeping it real pod. And now, on to our show. All right, I'm super excited to be here with you. I am going to teach you today the three tools you need to become the go-to real estate expert in your area with video. I'm really excited. I love teaching real estate agents how to grow their business. My name is Kim Ritberg. I help real estate agents become thought leaders and become the go-to agent in their area using video and podcasts. How do I know how to do this? Such a good question. Uh, I spent 15 years in big media, Netflix, Us Weekly, Inside Edition. Um, I actually launched the video unit for Us Weekly. And now I teach real estate agents from coast to coast. I spoke at the Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Convention, spoke at the Women's Real Estate Investment Summit, and I teach a lot of agents. I do one-on-one -on -one and group coaching, and I hear from them a lot of times. Their first question is, what equipment should I buy? And I'm like, nothing. <laughs> I don't think you actually need nothing, but the truth is you need very little. So let's get into it. What are the three tools you need to grow your real estate uh, business? I am not talking about the people who are filming real estate tours, who are videographers, whose business is to, is to film real estate tours. I feel very strongly and not just, I feel strongly, my professional opinion and knowledge is that as a real estate agent, you need to become the expert in your field and just listed and just sold will not get you there. So I'm not necessarily talking about how to film a better home tour because I don't think a better home tour is going to grow your business. I am talking about how to film so that you stand out, you as a person, because that is the differentiator. I see with my agents, the ones that I'm working with that are showing up consistently are getting referrals, they're getting leads, they're getting co-listings directly from social media. It used to be like, oh, well, maybe that'll happen down the line. I recently had someone in my video bootcamp, her second video posted, she got two people for discovery calls. So it happens all the time. Another agent of mine kept showing up and he got a co-listing for a multi-million dollar new development. And it's because they're showing up consistently. It's not the home tours that they got. It is them showing up because when you're putting yourself out there, your job is to establish yourself as the go-to person, the most knowledgeable person, their local expert, their best friend. And so that's what I'm teaching you today about what tools you, we need. So I'm jumping right into it. The very first thing you need is a tripod with a ring light. These are so inexpensive, so easy. You can go onto Amazon. If you email me, I will tell you which ones to, to, to buy. A ring light and a tripod is so important because you need to have a steady video. If you're holding, if you're hand holding, hand holding, holding by hand a video when you're talking for a long time, it's gonna get bobbly. I do a lot of handheld videos. I think those are fine. But in general, as you're going to film a lot more content, it's super efficient to set up a tripod. Your, your phone won't move a lot. The ring light, that is so amazing. Why? It lights you. You're going to look like an A-list movie star. The thing about a ring light is it creates an even glow on your face. If you'll notice you're on a Zoom call, you'll look at yourself and you're like, hmm, I look like I'm in a cave. That's because you're not getting good lighting and it's hard to get good lighting. A lot of buildings, that lighting's overhead, so it's casting a shadow. Oftentimes I see people sitting with a window behind them. That's a big no-no. The point is you want a ring light that's gonna give you even lighting. So this tripod and ring light, you can get a desktop one 
or you can get one if you have the uh, room in your actual room the, for a floor one. I personally use a floor tripod with a ring light and it has a little connector. I can also make it become a desktop. So that way sometimes if I'm actually filming like sitting on my desk on my computer, I can just use the ring light if I wanna look great for a Zoom meeting. Like I do Zoom meetings with clients or someone's considering me for a speaking engagement. I wanna look really good, so I'll use that ring light. So that's my first thing, a ring light and a tripod. So I know a lot of agents are out in the field, you know, you're, you're out and you're busy. Um, one of my agents actually from my course, from my group coaching course, my video bootcamp, she likes using a battery operated ring light. So you don't always have to worry about finding a place to plug in and you can set it up no matter where you are. I think that's an awesome idea. Um, and in terms of handheld, if you want to, you can use a selfie stick so you're not so, so, so close. Um, people ask me about all this other crazy equipment, but I'll be totally honest with you, unless you're really into technology, it's just gonna sit in your house collecting dust. I can't tell you how many things I've bought that I never use. You know why? I don't love filming. I don't love editing. I like writing. I like coming up with the ideas. I like directing. So I keep it simple and I teach you to keep it simple because your main job is to sell houses or rent houses or apartments, whatever. Um, and it's not to be a cinematographer. It's not to be an editor. So I want to arm you with the skills that I have <laughs> that regular people can use and take advantage of. All right, so we went over tripods and ring lights. People ask me about steady filming. There are some tools you can buy about filming to make it steadier. You hold your hands on the side. It helps you be steadier. There's a thing called a gimbal. If you don't love tech, don't buy that stuff. I've tried to use these. I, I used one once. I filmed my own house tour when I sold my own house. Don't hate me. Don't hate me. Don't hate me. Um, it kept spinning around and frustrated me after the first time I loved it, the second time I hated it. So if you don't love technology, don't buy that stuff. It does help obviously make um, smoother shots, but if you don't love the technology, don't use it. One thing to get a steadier shot as you're filming is use a steady stance. So lean up against a wall, um, stand in a firm stance like your legs apart and kind of keep your body even. That's a really great way to ensure you're shooting in a steady way. And if you're having a move, like if you're panning across um, a venue, I'm not even gonna talk about a house tour. You know how I feel about house tours, I'm not gonna make you rich. Um, let's say you're filming in a restaurant, a local restaurant in your area, you're gonna hold your camera and shoot really slowly, move it very, very slowly. All right, the next tool I'm talking about is editing equipment. I am not gonna tell you to get editing equipment that Hollywood editors use, unless you love technology, don't get it. So. Editing, go with the simplest editing uh, tools. If you really do not like editing and do not love technology, edit it inside the apps. So Instagram has tools in the app. These are made to be very, very user friendly. If you do not love editing and you do not love technology, I would say that is the simplest way to do it. If you're okay with editing or okay with technology, there's very simple apps called InShot, I use that. A lot of people use CapCut. And again, you put a video in it and you edit it very simply. I'll be honest with you, I have taken at least three different editing courses and I've asked my editor friends to sit down and teach me, I compensated them, uh, many different times because I was a TV producer and I did need to learn to edit because I worked with editors and now I edit myself because I've taken so many classes in the past, but I still don't love editing. So if you don't love editing and you really hate the technology aspect of it, outsource. Hire someone, hire a videographer, hire an editor, have a social media manager do it for you, teach your assistant, or come to my video bootcamp and I will teach you how to do it. All of these things you have to do in the way that works for your business. For example, I am okay with filming. I'm fine with filming on my iPhone. I'm, I'm an all right editor. I don't love it. When I have a lot of editing to do, I outsource it. It is not my greatest skill. It is not my biggest money maker, right? If I'm spending three hours editing something, it's a bad use of my time. It's a bad use of your time too. So think about that in terms of time is money. If it's taking you a really long time to edit one video, consider outsourcing it. Um, tools, other tools. So we're talking about editing. Um, there's lots of apps that can make your videos a little more fun. So you see those big words appearing on screen as people talk. People use the captions app for that. That's a super simple app to use. Um, there are other ones people use Descript. These are very simple user-friendly apps. They're made for everyone. They're not made for experts. They're not made for movie or TV producers. Um, another one that I do like using um, 
depending on the level that you're using it at, there's just like all these different user-friendly videos, uh, different apps that can help with editing. All right, the last tool I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna make you have. I've been very strict about this, confidence. <laughs> confidence and the right mindset, that is truly the most important thing. So a lot of times people come to me and they're like really asking about the equipment. And I'm like, before we get to the equipment, are you showing up on camera? Do you feel good about being on camera? Do you watch yourself back? Um, are you working on videos and then every few months you're like trying to level up your videos with more education or you're, you're sort of analyzing what's working, what's not working? You really have to start with the right mindset. Getting on camera is always the first thing. So I love my agents. I The keeping it real people are the best. They always like connect with me on social media and we're friends then. So connect with me on Instagram at Kim Rittberg or LinkedIn, wherever you're at Facebook, send me you on camera. Show up, you can show up on Instagram stories. You can just show up and just tell someone what you're about to do today. I'm gonna say, hey, I'm Kim. Today I'm walking around uh, Brooklyn, New York to show everybody this cool new art gallery, right? Do you love art? And you can put a poll, yes or no. Do you love art, yes or no? So. It's very, very, very important to start putting yourself on camera. And the reason why that is, is because people hire people, right? And it's not just one home you're selling. You're always selling yourself when you're on camera. And every time you pop up in that video, it's a time to rekindle old relationships and build new ones. And I, I think that we all feel that it's like, uh, am I really going to make a new relationship with a stranger on social media? And the answer is absolutely. My agents across the country are having that happen. Sometimes, it's an old relationship, someone you knew from two years ago, seven years ago, 15 years ago, popping back up because they're seeing you show up. Other times it's brand new relationships, new referrers. That's what I'm seeing from my clients, both ends. Some people are having new referrers directly popping into their social media. Hey, I saw what you were posting. I really liked that. I have a buyer in my state looking for a home in yours. Let's connect. I've had that happen too with my agents recently. So it is happening and it happens all the time. So you do though have to be on camera. These are my agents that are on camera. Not all of them love to be on camera. One of them, I had to pull teeth. She came to one of my big um, speaking engagements where I taught like hundreds of agents and she didn't even show up. She had never been showing up. She was feeling really like weird about it and really insecure. And she came and she did my video boot camp. We pushed through that let's show up on camera and then we went into what are we making now that we're on camera what are we making and she got two calls within the first week so it happens all the time you have to have that right mindset of it is important for me to be on camera if i'm feeling the negative voices i'm turning those down and i'm getting on camera so to wrap it up you're not a filmmaker that's no problem you can still grow your business with video not just you can still grow your business with video you don't even need those skills i will say you don't need any of those skills. You just need to learn how to use the basic skills and how to understand the strategy of it. And I can help you do that. Of course, I do one-on-one -on -one plans. I do a group coaching, a video boot camp. I do those where we all learn together how to show up with confidence and how to make really good strategy, strategic videos that grow your business. I love doing that. It's been really, really fun. Um, so again, you can find me on Instagram at Kim Rittberg, R I T T. B E R G, and I have a free download. Make sure to connect with me. I have a free download on how to make awesome videos and how to be confident on camera. And to wrap it up, the three tools are you need that tripod and ring light. You can get one for your floor or one for your desktop. But that is to get great even lighting and to have a steady, steady uh, video. The second tool you need, it is an editing app. You can use a very simple one like CapCut or InShot, or you can you can edit inside the social media app. They are made for regular people, so play around with them. I have tutorials. You can uh, message me and I'll send you to my tutorials. I have lots of amazing how-to videos on how to use that. If you follow me on social, you will see them. Um, and then lastly, the tool you need, confidence. Confidence. You need to have the right mindset to be on camera. All right, uh, thanks so much. It was great. Make sure to drop me a line on social and tag me when you show up on camera.